everyone, it's Becca from Becca Books and Bujo, and welcome to a weekend reading vlog. I'm starting my weekend off a little bit early because Willie and I have a fun Thursday evening planned. Uh, we are going to a Waylon Jennings concert, not to be confused with Waylon Jennings. Is that his name? Yeah, not the country singer. We're going to, it's a trio of women called the Waylon Jennies. It's kind of like folksy music, happy music. It's music we love to listen to. Probably my favorite band, you could say. Anyway, uh, so we're doing that. We're going to get some food beforehand with some friends that we're going to the concert with. And I wanted to bring you along for the journey because that's what I do. Uh, to tell you about books, it is only the second of the month, so I'm just starting my November TBR off, uh, kind of. I am also wrapping up one book that I started in October. That is The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. I got to like halfway through by the end of October, so I counted it as a win for my deck of TBR game, if you're keeping track of that, because I know that's what you do, my viewers. Uh, and so I'm halfway through that, reading it physically. It's really, really sweet. It is about Mika Moon, who is a witch, and she goes to this house to help train three young witches. It's really sweet. It's going to be kind of found family. People have said it's a lot like uh, the house in the Cerulean Sea, and I definitely can see those parallels. Uh, and then audibly, I'm listening to Tom Lake by Ann Patchett, which is not on my TBR for November, but my friend's book club is reading it, and we discuss it on Monday evening, so I need to get through this. I'm, I don't know, is that like a quarter of the way through? 70 some pages, 75 pages through, so uh, it's, I'm really enjoying it. First of all, uh, Meryl Streep narrates it, and so I love her as an actress. Why wouldn't I love her as an audiobook narrator? And uh, it is just a mother telling her story, her life story, to her three adult daughters. They're all at home because of the pandemic. And so she's telling them the story of how she became an actress and had a fling with a famous actor. And it's just, I really love it. I love the storytelling, it feels like Meryl Streep is my mother and telling me these stories. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's what we're reading this weekend. Um, my parents are watching our kids tonight and they'll actually be here all weekend until Saturday when Willie's parents come. It is almost show week. We are playing in the pit for Beauty and the Beast and so we have a bunch of rehearsals that parents are helping us out with watching the kids. Uh, and then also Willie's parents have a wedding that they need to go to this weekend and they're staying at our house for that. So, so many things going on uh, and we'll see if I can get any reading done. for me, 11.30 on Thursday. Don't have much to say other than the concert was phenomenal. I love the Waylon Jennies. If you haven't ever listened to them or heard of them, I encourage you to go try a song. I really like Beautiful Dawn and One Voice. Those are my two favorites, uh, so go listen to them. Anyway, I got quite a bit of reading done. On the way down to the concert, I read Physically, the Very Secret Society of Regular Witches. I probably read maybe 30 pages before I got kind of a headache from reading in the car. And then on the way back home, I listened to quite a bit of Tom Lake. I'll give you exact pages tomorrow. I'm too tired to look. For now, I'm gonna sleep and hope that our kids sleep. I'll report back in the morning. I know it's only been seconds for you, but uh, it was long hours for me. The kids did not sleep. I woke up with one kid in each arm this morning. Um, I just had a rough night. And probably because their day was a little upset yesterday, our daycare closed uh, kind of suddenly because she had water in her basement. And so the kids got to hang out with grandma and grandpa, but it just wasn't their normal routine. 
and now they went back to daycare this morning and that was a little traumatic because grandma and grandpa were at our house and uh, they didn't understand. Well, Theo just wanted to stay home. Mabel, she's our happy girl. She will go with the flow and do whatever. But Theodore was a little upset. So I just dropped them off. I'm at work now, it's 7.45. Got my coffee um, and I, there's a cookie down there. My parents were driving this car yesterday and uh, there's an M&M cookie on the ground. Don't know where that came from, but probably gonna eat it. Uh, I got my coffee and I've got a lot to do today. It's, you know, the final countdown for uh, Sunday, which is a big day at a church, obviously, with worship. And so I gotta get everything ready for worship and uh, some other things done too. I'm in charge of our children's Christmas program and we start practicing the songs on Sunday. So I've got to get that planned, figure out what songs I'm going to teach them and how I'm going to teach them. It'll be a long day with how tired I'm feeling right now. Ah. Here's an update on my reading. Um, I am a little over 50% of the way through the Very Secret Society of Regular Witches, and I made it to like 44%, I think, to be exact, of Tom Lake. So, I read a bunch of Tom Lake yesterday, not so much physically of the witches book, but, um, I have hopes that I could finish both of these books and maybe start another one this weekend. <laughs> were so lovely to have dinner ready for us when we got home. They had pork chops and baked potatoes and green beans. It was delicious. We had to eat at 4.30 though because now we are on our way to a five o'clock rehearsal. Willie and I are playing in the pit for the high school musical and we had rehearsal tonight. We have rehearsal tonight. So I'm hoping that we run the whole show. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It's been it's been a process, uh, and the show opens next week, so we will see how it goes tonight. Uh, I was able to listen to quite a bit of Tom Lake today while I did some tasks at work. I had to stuff bulletins and set up our candles for All Saints Sunday. It's um, a celebration in the Lutheran Church where you celebrate the people who died in the past year and then also the uh, baptisms you've had in the past year. So welcoming new saints and remembering the old saints. So that was my work today. Lots of running around and tasks to get ready for Sunday. Uh, anyway, do you have anything to add? No. All right. Talk to you later. Mama, Mama! You're not going to let it go. What is it? There's a girl looking at Oh, bless my soul. Wouldn't that be lovely? Okay, it is Friday night, of course. The dog. <laughs> I feel like most of my videos you hear my dogs. Always. Always I try to say something. It's just click, 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 click. Or my husband coughs. Okay, now can I talk, everyone? Go ahead. It is Friday night. Uh, we had a good rehearsal. We ran through the whole show. So, yeah, it went well tomorrow. We have an 8 to 4 rehearsal and we're going to run through the show twice. Once in the morning, once at night. So that will be exhausting. I'm already exhausted thinking about it. Why do we do this? Kids. It's fun. It's really fun. Uh, but just our kids not sleeping on top of that makes it long nights and long days. Anyway, uh, during some of the breaks of the show I got to read like two pages of The Very Secret Society of Regular Witches, and I'm going to keep reading now. I'm 180 pages, 186 to be exact, pages into this, and um, it's really sweet. 
they're making their little family and Mika is finally feeling like she found people. She's always felt like as a witch she needs to be isolated from everyone and every witch and now she's found these three girls that she's making such an impact on and it's just really, it's really sweet. Uh, but now she's going back to her, the witch who raised her, and is asking all these questions like why, why can't witches be together, what is the curse that was put on us, um, that make witches' parents die, so once a witch is born, their parents die in this book. Uh, and so she's figuring out that curse, and I feel like there's going to be some sort of plot to reverse that curse, maybe. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna read and go to bed. Probably fall asleep while I'm reading the second page because I'm tired. Stir it up. Stir it up. He has milk on this. It's okay. Or do you want to wipe it up? Don't want any. Don't want any. Um. Don't want any crumbs in there. No crumbs. rehearsal. The kids slept a little better last night, I would say. Uh, Mabel woke up at 4.30, just needed a quick cuddle and some milk. She slept until 8. And then Theo came into bed around 5.30 and slept with us until 7. So, feeling a little bit more rested and uh, now we're going to go play our instruments all day long. I'm feeling a little sad because there's a library book sale today and it is during the exact hours that rehearsal is. And so I'm hoping that my husband, over lunch, we can go, will let us go to the oh, yeah, sale? Okay, so we might do that uh, because I have to pick, I have to pick up an advent book calendar for Mabel. And I just want to see what else I have. I also have a fun event over lunch. I have a premiere video, my first ever premiere, I am co-hosting Mary Bookmas, which is a season-a-thon, season read-a-thon, that Melanie from Completely Melanie has like four times a year. Uh, but Mary Bookmas is the winter season-a-thon, read-a-thon, and I have an announcement today, and so I'm hoping to be live in the comments with you viewers, and uh, yeah, that should be really fun. So, uh, we're off to rehearsal, and I'll talk to you later. lunch and Theodore and Grandpa serenaded us with their new salad song. Crunchy and so munchy and so good. Salad. <laughs> <laughs> and we're heading back a little bit early so that we can go to the book sale. I'm so excited. My parents actually took the kids to the book sale this morning and found me a Louise Penny book, A Better Man, I believe it is. And so that's really amazing. Louise Penny, I feel like those books people don't get rid of often uh, and I just wanted to look for myself what other things they might have I told him two authors that I'd maybe be interested in Louise Penny and Colleen Hoover <laughs> um, but we need to stop and get cash because I do have to 
get Mabel's advent calendar. Uh, getting ready for Christmas, friends. We've got my bookish advent calendar, Theo's, Theo's Play-Doh advent calendar, and then our friends at the library does like board books in an advent calendar. So I pre-ordered that, and I think it's ready for pickup today. It's pre-ordered for my friends at the library. I think I wrote my name down and maybe my phone number. Anyway, okay, catch you at the book sale. We're done with rehearsal and we're gonna play a little bit they were playing superhero bad guys um we were wrapping the bad guy or no we were wrapping the superhero up in a burrito as a bad guy and theodore is sad because he wants a popsicle but we gotta have dinner first i gotta show you the books i got too but i'll do it later because she wants to lay a napkin on my face. I uh, know. What? I know. <laughs> the books I got earlier. I tried to show you earlier with the children awake and uh... <laughs> Mabel, you're cute. Okay, can you sit on mommy's lap? Sit down on mommy's lap. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta show the people the books I got. Can you show them the books? Mommy, what's this? Yeah, so I got... I showed you this one already. The Louise Penny, a better man. I don't even know what number this is in the series. Are you even listening to me? I know that she's pretty cute. Sorry for the chaos. That was my family. I got Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. I think this is kind of a classic. Mabel, we're not saying bye yet. Mabel, come here. 
Our three-year-old's just doing math back here. Uh, I got Armising Hearts by Celeste Ng. Uh, whoa! This is the most chaotic small little book call I've gotten in a long time. Yeah, that's how that went, so not good. Um, but I'll show you really quickly now what I got at the library book sale. I got Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. I've heard really interesting things about this. Um, just about like indigenous wisdom and plants and nature and oh Elizabeth Gilbert blurbed it a hymn of love to the world cool uh, I also got another copy of Guernsey I have recently acquired Guernsey and now this is my second copy but quite a few in the stack I thought I could get to be gifts because we're coming up to Christmas <gasps> and there comes my ice cream holy smokes um, The Martian by Andy Weir, again, to give away for Christmas. I think I showed this one earlier, Louise Penny, A Better Man, I think it's number 15 in the series maybe. Uh, I thought this one was a steal, Our Missing Hearts by Celeste Ng, a pretty new book uh, that I was able to get for two bucks. Let's see, I got Paradise by Toni Morrison. Toni Morrison is a maybe author for me. I uh, did not enjoy The Bluest Eye, but I was okay with Beloved, and I think that this is technically in a series with Beloved, maybe. Um, a book I've already read, but again, got to maybe gift is Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. It's his memoir. And lastly, I think a classic, The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafan. I saw um, Amy from A Star Reads read this, I think. Um, an international literary sensation about a boy's magical journey through the secrets and shadows of post-war Barcelona in search of a mysterious author whose book has proved as dangerous to own as it is impossible to forget. Cool. Okay, yeah, so that's my little little mini haul from the book sale. Excited about those. Um, I am going to eat my ice cream and we're going to watch some of The Office. We haven't watched The Office in a very long time. We're very behind on my goal to watch the entire series of The Office this year. Yeah, really behind that. Uh, and I think while we watch, after I eat my ice cream, I might do some of my cross stitch. I moved on to a beautiful sunset cross stitch. Oops, there goes my scissors. Shouldn't be throwing that around. Um, please picture of what it'll look like eventually. I'm just starting, so I don't have much to show you at all of my actual project um and yeah i read a little bit while willie was finishing up bedtime with theo and i think i have like 60 pages left i could finish this tonight if i put my mind to it and i'm not too tired and fall asleep while i read it um but first to watch the office hello friends uh it's like 9 30 and i'm in bed actually started not feeling so great my throat is scratchy i kind of felt it coming on all day but thought it was just like overuse but i realized i didn't really talk that much today so i don't know i might be getting sick so i wanted to go to bed early and it's especially nice well hmm, it's a double-edged sword it's uh daylight savings time ending overnight tonight and so it's technically only nine no i mean eight thirty but the kids went to bed at a normal time, which means they'll be awake an hour early tomorrow too. So anyway, it's probably for the best that I'm going to bed now, hoping that I can get some good sleep. Uh, and I guess before I actually fall asleep, I will be reading as much of this book as I can. Sorry, it's upside down. Um, it's getting good. Some romance is just starting, which I am enjoying. And uh, I'm interested to see how it concludes um yeah so that's all i've got for tonight tomorrow we're going to church and uh probably just hang out oh no we have rehearsal again <laughs> a rehearsal heavy weekend anyway i will see you in the morning kids from the first yeah. carriage are not but i think they've got four kids nine nine seven five good morning not the update i thought i would have for you uh this morning 
You know how I said I was feeling sick last night? Well, woke up feeling a little achy still this morning. So I wanted to be safe. I didn't want to go to church and expose anybody to anything. And I thought, you know what, just in case, I should test for the Rona. And I've got it. <laughs> Dang it! I don't know where I got it or how I got it. Like I said, my throat was just feeling sore yesterday. And now aches this morning, so... I don't know. I spent the morning trying to clean up our room and put new sheets on the bed for Willie. And now I'm in the basement guest bedroom trying to isolate. Uh, the kids seem to be feeling fine. Willie took a COVID test and he was negative, so I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, so yeah, that throws a wrench in a lot of things, which is really frustrating. It's hard to know. I mean, the kids can't go to daycare, so then who cares for the kids? Does Willie go to school and I care for the kids and expose them even more? Or does Willie stay home and I stay down here by myself? It's just, uh, tricky tricky situation um so the kids were out on a walk with Willie's mom and Willie um while I was trying to get the house a little tidied up and a space for Willie uh but I think I overexerted myself because now I'm feeling clammy and tired and sore and so I might just rest for a little bit I got so close to finishing the very secret society of regular witches last night like mega close uh within 10 pages but i was just falling asleep and so i think i'll probably finish that today uh i also have some youtube videos to catch up on i might fill in my bullet journal it's like nice to have some time away from the kids because i can do some things but i hate it i mean i don't want to be away from them and i don't want to be sick and i feel bad for making willie kind of just take on solo parenting for a while so I don't know it's sucky it is sucky what can you do so that's my update for this morning uh I also realized I haven't really eaten anything yet today so maybe I'll have a waiter bring me some food um when I was around anyone I was masking or like staying super far away from them yeah so, that's where we're at. It's gonna be a pretty lazy day today, but got to do some fun things. You know where I could've gotten it? The Waylon Jennings concert. I was around a lot of people for an extended period of time. That's probably it. Okay, well, now that I've solved that mystery, I will sign off and talk to you in a bit. <laughs> I'm filling in my bullet journal. I am watching Stephanie's book versus TBR video. I love her TBR star hop. It's like one of my favorites. Um, but I've actually had some questions recently about how my reading tracker works. I thought I could show you. It's very, very simple, friends. It looks maybe more difficult than it actually is. But each bar is a progress bar for the book. So here is The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. Um, in October, I read this first chunk. Then on the 1st of November, I read that green chunk. 2nd of November, I read the purple chunk. And the 3rd of November, I read the blue chunk. So as I update, um, like here I got to, on the 4th, I got to page 290. Can you see that? Come on, focus. Nope, not gonna focus. 290, there you can see it. Um, so <laughs> what I do, it's literally a glorified Goodreads. Um, what I do is I go to my Goodreads, I say here that I got to page 290 and hit done and then it tells me my percentage in the book. So I got to 91%. And so then I come over here and get my next color, which in this case it's pink. Get my pink. And just simply put in a bar representing 91% and 
and color it in. So then I know that I read that much of the book, that percentage of the book on the fourth. Pretty simple. Uh, and it's just a visual way for me to see how many days it takes me to read a book and how much of a book I'm reading each day. Very Sacred Society of Irregular Witches. I really liked it. I think I'm gonna give it four stars. It was just such a sweet found family book. Um, like I have said before, Mika Moon is a witch and she gets called for a job at this house called Nowhere House where she is going to train three young witches and help them learn how to control their power and use their power in the right ways. Uh, she meets some wonderful adults in these young witches' lives and they become her family. Um, it's really, really sweet. There's this secret that is kept throughout the whole thing that made me a little mad, uh, especially with the history that Mika has had with um, people using her for her magic. Um, and that just made me a little frustrated, but I think Mika had a good heart and was able to look past that and end up helping these three young witches and their family. So I really, really liked it. I think, like I said, four stars for that one. Uh, I think tonight, I'm just gonna sit here. Uh, I did see that Krista is hosting sprints tonight and I think I'll actually participate. My next, uh, physical read. I think I will pick up this Kristen Hanna. It's called If You Believe. It's a romance, but like super, super old. Like one of her oldest books. Um, one that I can't find an audio to. So I will try to read this one physically. Um, also, if I need a uh, audio book, I will try to finish Tom Lake. I'm like two thirds of the way through that one. Uh, and then I went ahead and got my next audiobook lined up too. I think I'm going to do Cold Mountain by Charles Frazier. This is not on my November TBR, but it is one of my self-destruct books. And so I would love to read it, get it done. Uh, and it just so happened that my audiobook hold on Libby came up. So I figured that this could be next in line for my audio. Okay. Uh... Willie went to rehearsal this afternoon and I hear that he is back now. He went and got us some groceries because I normally go grocery shopping for the family on Mondays and I'm obviously not going to be able to do that. And so while his mom was still here, he went and got some groceries. He's going to stay home with the kids for the first half of the week just to make sure that none of them get sick, feel sick, uh, and then we'll go from there. But he's home now. I think he's getting them some dinner. I still don't know like if I should go up there masked and get my own dinner. The one time I went up there masked to get some more water and a little snack, the kids got upset when I left. And so I feel like they shouldn't see me, obviously for multiple reasons that I don't want to get them sick and just their emotions are on high without their mommy. So I feel sad and bad that I'm not 
up there with them. But I want them to be healthy and not feel like this because I feel yucky. In fact, I think it's almost time for me to take some meds. Yeah, I think we're, we're getting there. So uh, I'll check in with you maybe once more tonight. Uh, I'll jump on sprints with Krista. That'll be fun. Um, See how much reading I can get done tonight. If I could finish another book, if I could finish Tom Lake, that'd be cool. Okay, back to you in a bit. I got Merkel too, love it. Oh, Debbie, that's a doozy. <laughs> it's a heavy duty book. I really loved it. I think her writing is stunning, but it's a heavy hitter for sure. When you have a certain goal, but then when that goal happens, people feel like they can't be critical of you know the person that they have now helped place in power. I just finished Tom Lake, and uh, I liked it. It was underwhelming, but in a beautiful way, um, if that makes sense. It is about a woman named, why can't I remember her name? Lara. And she tells the story of how she fell in love and uh, how there was a hiccup along the way of her be in a relationship with a famous movie star and uh she's telling this story to her three daughters and they were like ooing and aahing over this uh movie star and it was just really sweet i listened to it and i would definitely recommend listening to this audio because meryl streep reads it and it feels like i was one of meryl streep's daughters <laughs> i know it was lara but Meryl Streep telling this story and uh, I felt like I was one of her daughters listening to my mother's story of falling in love. So it was um, just very sweet about a family living on a cherry and apple orchard during COVID um, but that was like a very faint aspect of it. The, the fact that the family or the fact that the time period was COVID um, just meant that the family could all be together again and these three adult women could hear the story from their mother. So, um, it was really good. I, I enjoyed my time with it. It was, like I said, just kind of underwhelming, but it was okay. Um, so I think that's another four star. I finished two books today and both of them are four stars. I think. Yeah, I think that seems right. Uh, I was on sprints with Krista all night. Uh, that really kept me, kept me motivated to keep reading. Um, but I think I might get ready for bed soon and sleep because I am tired and not feeling great. Oofta. My head hurts. My body hurts. So hopefully a good night of sleep. Could be just what I need. Uh, yeah. I guess... Maybe I'll close out the vlog tomorrow morning. No, no, I'm gonna close out right now. Thanks so much for watching this weekend. Uh, we were able to do some fun things, but then it ended very differently than what I thought. Uh, I finished two books, these two right here, and uh, they were both really lovely and fun in their own different ways. And uh, now I'm gonna start two other books that I really don't know much about, either of them. So. That'll be interesting and fun. Uh, Cold Mountain will be on audio and if you believe will be physical. Physically. I can't talk. All right. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like the video on your way out. Uh, consider subscribing if you'd like to see more bookish and bullet journaling content from me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.